if we leave the serpent in its symbolic aspect of evil sin healing and wisdom we can enter into a realm of purely speculative philosophy from this perspective when we attempt to describe the meaning of the serpent in the act of swallowing its tail we use two words eternity and infinity many great minds have wrestled with this idea of eternity and infinity and their relations with time and space many scientists and philosophers have been probing into these complex ideas of unending time and immeasurable space science today visualizes a universe which is in rapid motion ever expanding every particle small or great moving progressively outward along the countless radii towards the circumferences which are themselves expanding into infinity our expanding universe has become a popularly accepted idea it is also conceived that the nebulae are receding from us at great speeds and they are not moving through the space but with the space expressing the concept of space as everywhere expanding uniformly witnessing countless galaxies being born and others on the way of disintegration and extinction when we consider the serpent swallowing its tail as a circle at the first instance it is established in our minds as something which is limited and fixed however extended the circumference may be it appears to be within the limits of comprehension and measure it becomes the boundary of a universe or the limits of a time cycle or endurance of a universe the hindus call this time cycle a manmantra or mahamanmantra the evolving universe brought forth by the solar logos in certain field of cosmos may be vast but as long as the human mind conceives of it in terms of space and time it must have its limits however long this time cycle may be there must come a time of dissolution it is called in sanskrit as pralaya or the period of rest and cessation of cosmic activity a probing mind then is faced with this question if time came into being with manifestation how can it cease as long as the manifestation exists the answer can be found in the truth that time is a part of manifestation in god's omniscience the beginning and the end are perceived as one for any lesser consciousness the whole would be seen only in part part succeeding in part unrolling in time and therefore visualized by mind as finite with limitation the serpent swallowing its tail symbol from this perspective represents the idea of finite being swallowed up by the infinite of time being swallowed up by the eternal partial and relative truths will be swallowed up by the ultimate truth time has no meaning in this vastness time and space will disappear into eternity and infinity manifestation returns to the absolute being and so the serpent swallows its tail